I deal with people who you wouldn't give a break to on their mortgage, but yet you, you allowed the banks to write down debt for developers, but nobody gave people who were scalped when they paid top dollar for their houses a break. You never instructed the banks to reduce their repayments and to give them a bit of leeway. Why didn't you do that for the common man if you did it for developers? Well, as you know, after the collapse of the, uh, of the economy and the country with the previous Fianna Fáil administration, a lot of which was conducted, I suppose, in the Galway tent many years ago. The situation was that practically every mortgage holder in the country was in distress. These numbers have fallen seriously because the government introduced a whole suite of uh, op options for those who have mortgages and those who lend them, whether they be banks or other financial institutions. No, but I asked you about debt write-off, specifically. Yes, and debt write-off is a feature of life now with insolvency there. The, the no, 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 I'm talking about family bankruptcy for families in situations like this being reduced to one year, three years and one year. If yeah, but we don't want families to go bankrupt. And we want them to get a break on a property that's not worth what they're paying for it. You don't want to know the truth here. And plenty of options for those who have mortgages that are in distress to sit down with the lenders and negotiate through a code of conduct pre presented by the central bank for every bank to be courteous and work with the people to whom they have lent money. But they're not. But the numbers are dropping seriously in terms of those who are now in mortgage. But distress. the most vulnerable, who are the electorate, got ignored, and the some, banks, some ignored, banks, the banks screwed them, and the courts endorsed it. Some banks, as you know, have written write-offs in particular circumstances. The first requirement, Neil, is for a person who has borrowed money and who's in under pressure and distress to negotiate and sit down with the lender. And these, the numbers in these cases, have fallen seriously over the last two years.